Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampath. You are watching Sampath Sanfix Video Channel. Back with new video for Mi 11X. That's the Poco F3. Redmi K40 custom ROM reviews. Back with new video. In the previous video, I actually made this uh, HyperOS light. This is a CN based. Uh, you can see extra virtual GB is there. I am using 2 GB here. You will get up to 6 GB. I will be showing that within a while. 1.0.8.0 is the version here. If I go into detailed information specifications, you can see uh, Xiaomi HyperOS 1.0.8.0 as I said before and Android version is 14. Security patch is uh, July, June, June security patch. This is really good. And kernel user is 4.1.157 puff kernel. And if you can notice the font is default here this is the font default they are giving sometimes what happens is we forget what font is there or not for a customization hence they are reminding it seems like that anyhow this is how the typical home skin and app drawer you can see here smoothness and this is the dialer you will get call recording features guys as you can see auto call recording and you can select the recommended numbers here that's fine i haven't faced any issues and coming to camera application here again you'll be getting a leica integrated hyper is camera here it's really fine also get documents pro mode video mode you will get 4k only 4k 30 i think so yeah for better usage use gcam or if you want any other ports of gcam you can definitely use it out guys if you want stock camera only then you can try this one if you want all the features go and flash the stock rom okay that's how it is and if i can edit the app icons yeah there is the option to edit it the shape and size and also the type of thing we need if i want to keep it this as a gallery select that downloading it takes some time meanwhile you can subscribe to my channel if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel as you can see that's how it looks i want to make it bigger also i can do it out uh, two into two let's see yeah that's how it looks like isn't that cool and themes it's downloading some stuff if i okay press and hold here let's try here in the second screen yeah widgets are also given here you need to download them first you'll get all the recommended clock and other widgets you'll get it's like chinese and global mixed here and these wallpapers in the light version it was getting downloaded for some reason it is not getting downloaded here you also get the hyperis wallpapers with this one and this most system wallpapers where it is yeah let me apply this one of the wallpaper in vn edition it was when i upload in this dark mode it will be become dark mode and this is the app vault you get minus one skin you can even customize them and this is the quick settings toggle so as you can see nfc is also available here but my variant is me 11x that's not there yeah now yeah we'll turn off the this one close and automatic brightness sensor vibration and vibration haptic feedback strength is also fine here you guys can see and if you press and hold edit section no no such features anyhow that's how it is the quick settings toggles and ui everywhere it is smooth here if you want to make it dark mode yeah will the wallpaper remain similar yeah it is already in the dark mode anyhow That's how the toggles coming to some results. We'll show some results here. Starting with the Geekbench score 1137 is a single score and multi score is 3 to 7. Five and links 4.1.157. Puff kernel has been used. This is a results of safety and status case. And the Play Store is also not certified here for some reason. But you can use payment application. That is not a problem. And SGR 10 support is available here and level 1 certification is also done here you can watch all the ott application that is not a problem here too and these are the read recipe test with graphical and this is with numerical scores and this is 140 mps i was in the third room from here hence the internet speed is like that my airtel fiber connection is 200 mps plan and this is charging speed you guys can see and charging rapid also you will get this and 
these are the things and in the gallery if i can show you this one recognize text those things are given here recognize table is not given anyhow other thing create pdf and other thing you will get it in the edit option also you need to download some plugins you will get all the other options like sky feature and all those are still available in hyperos 2 and biggest thing i haven't noticed security application here it is embedded maybe security application is not given anyhow here let's start with some settings what we can get language and input again languages you get plenty here as you can see you can pause the video and check out whether your language is available or not that's how it is keyboard is there and enhance keyboard other things are given here if we're going to quick ball again these things are very similar here clear speaker screen recorder again you get some front camera assistant tap plus bar you can enable every time floating windows again you get plenty of options here too it's a very handy feature memory extension up to 6 gb is there kit space is there these are the additional app features you get here and enterprise mode and account and sync is there here now let's see battery here add shortcut okay you get four different modes battery checkup is there here if you want you can add them battery protection is also given here health temperature you can actually check out number of charge cycles the battery life is also very good if you compare with the other version what i made non cn edition and this is cn edition this will give a little bit better battery life in my ov10 again and you get face fingerprint and screen lock and also app lock is very installed let me show the fingerprint unlock first followed by the face unlock as you can see fingerprint unlock is very fast and face unlock is also even faster than what you can expect from hyperos roms and sound and touch again you get all the necessary options here do not disturb mode again you can do those things profile video for incoming calls and other sound effects are also included here dolby atmos is there graphic equalizer harman kardon support is also there additional settings you get all these options if you go into again display and brightness you will get that dark mode here as i shown already you get these options let me turn it to light mode switching between them is also fast here sunlight mode is there smooth and transition advanced textures color scheme options are also given here let me make it saturated and warm little bit even you can do other options also advanced settings are also given here you can play around with refresh rate again in the custom you get 60 and 120 default mints uh, as a, a dynamic refresh rate again AI super resolution for videos and hdr enhancement and motion emission motion control is also given in this particular rom this about display settings in the home screen again you get these options like sets for clock visibility if you want it every time you can hide it also home screen again you get all this necessary options minus one screen you get it app alt again you get all these options regarding that search bar style you get some options here to unlock animations again you can do these things home screen layout you get up to 9 to 16 that's fine uh add eye icons rounded widgets other things you can check out icons and even background colors also you can change from your system navigation gestures and buttons are also given arrange items and recents like ios style you can make it out as you can see that's how it looks like and animation speed again you get different types here wallpapers and personalization it revert back to these things and hyper os changes like lock screen customization that is still there you can actually customize them and you can definitely play around that always on display again you will get once you turn this always option is also there you can add custom images and everything will be working fine here effects notification effects and other things are remains same here interconnectivity and more interconnectivity options remains very similar the ui is very very smooth i haven't faced any issues regarding this ui is you can definitely use it as a daily driver let's see bgma what are the graphic settings we get and how it handle in this particular rom And coming to graphic settings again you get smooth plus extreme plus here some of them are trying to play in 120 fps once it's available we can play but once it's not available why don't we 
push it don't necessarily require that for 90 fps it's fine still the device will get warm if you play continuously four hours as you can see even in the counter attack it is fine you also get this kind of gaming mode here currently it's in balance mode if i move into performance mode let's see how it handles and here you will get some modes here i like bright and saturated or both enhanced visuals is also there and brightness toggles and voice changer other things are there as you can see it's also smooth here the transitions and everything is smooth yeah that was very close i was picking up the granite yeah the gaming experience here it is very much fine i can say it's very similar to the other version but here uh, it's cn edition that's the only difference guys visually uh, they have changed the fonts here uh, apart from that everything remains very same i will come back here that's how the hyper os elite cn edition if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom comment down in the comment section guys and if you're still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button and this is sampath signing off we'll meet you with another interesting video guys and that keep smelling bye bye for now